So uh, well, it comes down to execution at the end of the day. You know, they, they executed better than we did, and, and uh, um, we had some. We had a few opportunities, especially on a couple of the early drives, to, to get off the field on third down. And, I mean, we missed some tackles uh, in some situations in that game that allowed drives to extend, and that, that, that hurt us big time. I thought, you know, between that and obviously the deep balls, it, that cost us. Hey, coach, uh, what do you feel, or how do you feel your team responded following the? Big Ten championship loss, and what improvements did you see out of your team uh, in this game since that game? We we just we played a good football team, you know. I, I mean, we didn't win the football game. At the end of the day, you know, there's no, you know, that, that's what we're about around here. You know, it's not about. I mean, I thought our guys responded well. They came out, and they, you know, they they played their butts off, and that's a good football team we play, and. Uh, but, you know, they didn't hang their heads. They didn't sit there and dwell on what happened in the Big, Big Ten title game. But at the end of the day, we didn't get it done. And that's what we're about in this program is, is winning football games. But, you know, they, I thought as far as how they responded, as far as, you know, character-wise, and, and, you know, over, you know, responded to the, what happened in that game, I thought they did that. I knew they would because there's tremendous character on our team. Hey, Bo, you, you come out first drive of the third quarter, you go down the field, their defense looks gassed. They're calling timeouts, you know, just to catch a breather. What happened in the momentum with your offense versus their defense? You know, I mean, there was a turnover too, but what what changed in the in the rhythm of the game? Because it, it seems like the offense was really dominant there for a while. Yeah, I thought that. You know, I thought our offense played well the whole game, and you know, it, I thought we were right in. I thought we were going to win the football game, or you know, we were right there until. Till the long pass play, till the you know, till we the 87 yarder. Um, I still felt we were in pretty good, pretty good shape. Uh, I thought we were better, you know. I thought we were better condition than their football team. Um, uh, I don't think our guys were quite as tired. And, you know, I, I thought there were two big, the two biggest plays in the game to me were when we took the lead. And we were up, I think, what 31, 23, I believe, and we gave up the long touchdown pass when. We should have made that play, and then the, obviously the bump when we hit our own turnover. And you know, I thought that you know right there the momentum shifted a little bit, but I still thought we had an obviously an opportunity. Coming straight back in the middle, both for both for Coach and Will, uh, you guys come in. I think the top ranked defense, uh, uh, pass defense in the country. Uh, you, get the, you get the one pick six, but how is he able to shake free for the five TD passes? And, and was it just a matter of him scrambling or, or broken plays? Or some of it was scrambling, but for the most part, it was those were plays that we made most of the year. We, you know, we, we got the, you know when you're there, uh, we were there to make. We you know, had the opportunity. We didn't play the ball very well today for whatever reason, and uh, it's something we you know, got to get next. Well. Do you think that overall you've been doing this long time? Do, do Southern teams have a slight edge in these bowls? It always takes place in the South. It's warmer weather. Is, is there an edge for the Southern <coughs> team in no. most bowl games? No, I don't buy into that. I don't think there's any, you know, it's just football. You know, you know people can read it and out all they want. And, uh, we, you know, we were well represented here, as well represented as Georgia was. So, I mean, I just. I feel like I'd be making an excuse. I don't think that's the case. Cody, when you say that they made a lot of plays today, and just plays that they made and maybe you didn't, do you feel like it's a question of needing more playmakers or coaching it up better? Or I mean, because at times Murray just made throws that were very, very hard to defend, or they made a great catch. What do you, what do you it's think? It's a combination of the two. It's playing technique, and it's it's playing the you know. Playing the football too, you know. I mean, well, we got to, you know, obviously that that's a concern. But I mean, heck, we we play good receivers during the year and and, uh, and you know, led the country in pass defense. You know, I mean, one of those days. I've been there before. I've seen this happen in the NFL, where where, where you know you had to be have had days like that, and it's not something you you want to have happen. And it's part of the game. I mean, everybody's been so. I've been around football long enough to know that you know, you're going to have days like that. And I kept waiting for us to make a play to 
to turn it over and turn it around. And, and uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't do it. And you know, they, uh, I thought we executed our game plan pretty well. And you know, we, like I said, I thought we were in position. I think, I, you know, the, obviously the deep balls and playing the football and, and uh, a couple of the missed tackles and some things that extended some of their drives. And, you're not going to win that football game. Hey, hey Bo, you're, you know, you got one quarter left. It's a tie game. You're that close to beating a top ten team that almost beat Alabama a month ago. I know it's fresh, but over the next few months, you're going to have to sit down and figure it out. I mean, how do you get over the how do you get over the hump in that situation? How do you how do you how do you take that position where you're tied and, and it's anybody's game and, and turn it in your favor? You need to get we need to get better. We need to be. We, we we need to get. We need to get better to get in that position. We beat some teams that you know. I mean, that's a top ten. I, I think that's a good football team. We beat a lot of good football teams this year, and uh, you know that we need to. We need to keep working to get better, and uh, we got to get. You know, we have to make those plays when the time comes, and, and you know, so to me, it comes back. It, it falls on my shoulders to make our football team that much better. And uh, I think, uh, I'm, you know, it's going to be, it's, I'm sad to see Will and the seniors go. And uh, I think, you know, we're, we're going to lose the leadership. We're going to lose a lot of character. Guys that you know, meant a lot to this football program. But I'm really, really excited about what we have coming back and the prospects of what, what our football team could be next year. And, uh, you know, it, unfortunately, you know, you know, if you're a competitor, which I am, which these kids are, you know, it, it's hard to swallow. It's hard to swallow games like this, but, you know, you, you got to turn the page and go back to work. Hey, Will, uh, I, I, on, on the last thing, you know, one thing I can say is, and I told our team this, there's no question that we can play with any football team in the country. And, uh, you know, I think we showed that how we, you know, how we played up front, how we, you know, uh, you know, we, like you say, you know, we, we, it's, we want to make that jump. We want to win a ball. We want to compete for a national championship. I don't think we're very far away. And, uh, and like I said, I think that we have the opportunity, you know, we'll, we'll be a better football team next year. I, I believe that.